the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, to whom shall we go? Lord, to whom shall we turn? For our goodnight message on this Saturday, the 29th of April 2023, broadcasting from Kasama, Zambia, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a selection of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the gospel passage of today entitled, To Whom Shall We Go? Today we concluded John chapter 6, the passage we started going through from last week Friday. Jesus makes it clear that he is the only solution to whatever we go through in our lives. Do you want to live too? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. Here is the mark of the true believer. He cannot quit. When Jesus said to them, Will you go away also? It is clear that he would have let them go if they had wanted to. He does not hold anyone against his will. Responding to our Lord's words, Peter says three wonderful things. First, he says in effect, Lord, we have been thinking about it. We have investigated the alternatives. You are not easy to live with. You embarrass us. You frighten us. We don't understand you at times. We see and hear you do things that simply blow our minds. You offend people who we think are important. We have looked at some alternatives, but I want to tell you this. Lord, we have never found anyone who can do what you can do. To whom shall we go? You have two things that hold us, two things we cannot deny. And the first is your words. What you say to us has met our deepest need has delivered us from our sins and freed us from our fears. Your words, Lord, are the most remarkable words we have ever heard. They explain us and they explain life to us. They satisfy us. Nobody speaks like you do. Nobody understands life like you do. That holds us. Secondly, Lord, we have seen your character. Notice how Peter puts it. We have believed and have come to know that implies a process which has perhaps gone on over the course of months and years. Peter is saying we have watched you and we have come to see that there is nothing wrong in you. You are the Holy One of God. You are the sinless one. You fulfill the predictions. You have drawn us and compelled us. You are the incomparable Christ. Thus, there is no place to go. I have found this to be true of real Christians. Those who steadfastly continue on always feel this way about Jesus. They know their own failures, their own weaknesses. They know that despite the many times they do not understand what is happening to them, yet they cannot live. This is the testimony of those who walk faithfully with him and follow him. I have often said that the best definition of a Christian is someone who cannot quit. Are you about to quit because there are many things that seem not to make sense in your life? Or maybe your aspirations have been let down. I want you to be like Peter. To whom shall we go? We are settled, we are set, we have arrived with you, Lord, and we don't need anything else. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Lord, to whom shall we go?